Are you someone that's tired of EA and DICE's nonsense? Or maybe you're someone that's wishing for an actual Battlefield experience. One that isn't broken on release and actually has all the features that would be in a Battlefield. A Battlefield that should have chaotic fights with the level of destruction unseen from other games. Well, unfortunately, it seems like you're not going to get that type of stuff from the actual Battlefield series. So we have an alternative. If you don't mind the graphics, Battlebit is one hell of an experience. For those of you that don't know what Battlebit Remastered is, it is a low poly FPS that aims for a massively multiplayer experience with up to 254 players in a single server. Fight on large battlefields with ground vehicles, boats, or airships. Create your own strategies to win a nearly fully destructible map. Battlebit is basically Battlefield on steroids with some squad mechanics. That being the healing system and being able to like build up barricades with their point system. But for the most part, it's all Battlefield. Hell, oh, what am I even saying? It's not Battlefield. This game blows Battlefield battlefield out of the goddamn water because this game is launching with over 35 weapons compared to battlefield 2042's 22 weapons at launch 17 maps compared to battlefield's seven maps at launch 11 game modes compared to battlefield's three all of the maps are fully destructible i can't name a single map that was actually destructible all the way in battlefield am i saying that battle bit is perfect no it definitely isn't i have my issues with it but they are by far and away less issues than i have with with Battlefield 2042. I'm gonna name those issues with Battle Bit right here, right now. Yes, I wish that the game was a modern looking game, but unfortunately, if it was, they wouldn't be able to accomplish a lot of the stuff that they're doing right here, right now. This developer team sacrificed graphics for gameplay, gunplay, and a lot of content. It is insane to me that this tiny studio has accomplished what a triple A studio with a ridiculous amount of money has not. I mean, we all know the reasons, to be frank, but. To see it in action, it's just mind-blowing. And that's why I keep saying, if you just get past the graphics, you'll have an amazing experience. This is the most Battlefield-type game I have played in a hot minute. The only thing that I think that it's really missing is just badass music to the level of Battlefield. But yeah, another problem that I do have with this game is, uh, I do feel like this game can be a bit chaotic, but the thing that I do like about this is that the developers thought about that, and they made it so that the game could go down to, like, 64 versus 64, or 32 versus 32, which is what the Battlefield developers initially intended because if you go too much it becomes too chaotic and the map just becomes like a stalemate kind of like how planet side is and that is how battle bit can be when you have 254 players on the map it definitely becomes like a stalemate but there are definitely different modes that you can activate so that you don't have to do the 90 versus 90. i really like how this game has done what battlefield just hasn't you know they've added more content over the existing content and they've given us basically all the stuff that we want and then some with the squad mechanics now there is is another complaint unfortunately they don't seem to have jets at the moment but i assume they're gonna have some more in because they already have helicopters it was a bit of a process for them to get that in but they got it in some vehicles do feel a bit wonky the tanks and jeeps especially but you know they're working on it and for the most part they work but yeah there was this one time when me and a buddy we were in a four-story building and we were shooting at this guy that was across from us in another building about the same height and the guy kept going from window to window and we were trying to snipe and we were just like screw it we're just gonna blow up the building so we ended up shooting at the bottom and <laughs> building with him inside of it just seeing it completely collapse that was amazing such a battlefield thing but uh yeah it was amazing you know i saw a comment the other day that said that it's hard to please battlefield players and it's like it's really not you know if you would actually listen to the fan base they would tell you exactly what they want they just want battlefield 3 with modern graphics with more destruction with battlefield 5's gunplay battlefield 5's feature where you can completely build up defenses and make them last not get destroyed instantly battlefield 1's level of destruction that could completely change a map there are so many good aspects of battlefield that you could add into the next one but clearly that's not gonna happen is it that hard to do battle bit has it all and it's showing modern battlefield how it's done this is the reason why i am not going to buy the next battlefield because if i want my battlefield fix i will go to this game not the next battlefield because clearly the battlefield developers don't want the battlefield that we want they want to bring back battlefield in an entirely new way even though we don't want battlefield in an entirely new way we want it just the way that battle bit is doing it i know this is going into rent territory but it's just something that needs to be said 
I am a huge Battlefield fan, and to see it go in a, you know, a different direction than where it was, it just, it breaks my heart, you know? And I know that if I keep supporting this business model, it's just going to get worse. So I'm done with Battlefield. And if I want my Battlefield fix, I will go to Battlebit, which will be going into early access sometime in June. They're going to have another playtest going on from June 9th to 11th. That's going to be the last one. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's successful. I would love to see this game flourish and show Battlefield how it's done. And that's really all I wanted to say about this. Good luck to the BattleBit developers. I will definitely be playing this game a lot, whether it be in the background or in the front ground. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.